little quick tutorial on how to run 64-bit games uh, on your MacBook in Steam. So with this, I'm going to be using Gary's Mod. I'm not sure if I'm going to make the title how to run Gary's Mod or how to run 64-bit uh, games. But as you can see, your current Mac OS version is unavailable while unable to run 32-bit games. So as you know, may know, it, Gary's Mod is a 32-bit game. So what you want to do is you want to go to your library in Steam, find Gary's Mod, it's a very simple process, right-click, Properties, and then you're going to want to find Betas, and then right here, this box will be empty, it'll be on None, but you want to click this drop-down box, and then go down and hit x86-64-chromium plus 64-bit binaries. Then you're going to want to just click the X, and you will have an update to install, but after that, you can just click Play, and it should launch... Now, this you can't expect this to be perfect. It's going to be very, very buggy, but it does get it working and running. Now, this didn't work for me the first time. It just started working after a couple of days. And as you can see, the screen resolution is not that high. It, nothing is great. It's a little buggy, but uh, it is working. So that that's as good as I can get it. And I don't think there's any code to make it uh, better by chance, but it does run pretty smoothly. Uh, for example, if I start a game, it'll load in. And just like that, we are in the game. As you can see, it's running at a pretty smooth 60 FPS. Um, it's not great resolution. It's, you know, not great. But it does work. And just appreciate that it works because you can't exactly get it, just expect stuff to work on Mac. And uh, as you can see, I can drive a car here. Very buggy, but it works. Even the ground, the contrast, everything's a little bit messed up, but uh, it does work. So thank you guys for joining this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, and quick side note, um, sometimes when Gary's Mod doesn't close, you have to right-click it, and then you have to do Force Quit, or if you can't do that, then hold in Command, Option, and Escape at the same time, it will bring up a little Force Quit Applications box. Now, as you can see, Gary's Mod not responding, and you're just going to want to go ahead and press Force Quit, and then Force Quit one more time, and as you can see, it will Force Quit and come out of your dock. So... Uh, that is how to run 64-bit games. Like I said, this is very buggy, glitchy. I can't exactly promise that this will work for every single game. And even Gary's Mod itself, because all Macs are different. None of them are the same. And personally, I am using the M1 Mac, the uh, M1 2020 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU, 16 gigs of RAM, and 1 terabyte of storage. So those are my specs if you were wondering what this actually works on. So thank you guys for joining. Anthony.